Hello there YouTube. This is the start of my miniature ball peen hammer. First what I did was I had this one of these mounted on here on the grinder. And I made my lines down in here. Measuring them out. Measuring so they're equal. Then I went like this to taper this out. This I rounded. Then I used my emery stone, my rotary tool, to polish it. I'd made a line on here with my tubing cutter and then I decided to change the measurement so I'm just going to leave it on there. I've got my hole marked center punched for the handle. I wanted to keep this similar to about the length of this. To show a size comparison Here's the Sharpie marker. So that's how small it is. Not much smaller than the cap. It measures approximately two inches, about two and a quarter inches when I started. And This is half inch stock. This is the same chrome looking steel that I'd used on my pick hammer for part of the handle. This hasn't been polished very much with memory. This is how shiny it was before I started. This is a pretty good quality steel whatever this was out of. And this will only be used on soft metals like copper, aluminum. kind of odd with that line in there. I decided to change the measurement when I was measuring over. This is a oil pump rod out of a Ford that drives your oil pump off your distributor. It's hexagon shaped. I'm going to use this for the handle. I haven't decided if I'm going to have the flat side that way or the flat side so when you got your hand on the back of the hammer that would put this this way and put an angle there instead of a flat side. I don't know if I'm going to drill it all the way through or just drill it so far. I plan on epoxying this inside of here. So if it does come loose, I'll just drill a small hole and pin it with a pin because I want this to look nice. I don't want to weld or braze it. It's going to be used for light use. I haven't decided what kind of handle to put on here. It could be a nice piece of wood. It could maybe even be a handle off a screwdriver. Something on the end. That'd be kind of too big around. But that's the progress so far on this. This is pretty small ball peen hammer. It's going to be pretty small. Let me get into the camera again here. I wanted to keep about the same length of the head as this one was. I like the length of this. So back to work. Okay. We've got our hole drilled in here. We've round this, rounded this off. When we put this in here, we've tapped it in here once. The sharp edges of this are going to put grooves in here. 
and get this to focus. Now I'll put grooves in there. I have it marked the depth. And if this doesn't seem to hold, I'll either put some epoxy on it or I will drill a hole and pin it. I could drill a hole down there where no one can see it. Could drill it like this at an angle. That way no one can see it. Which it doesn't really matter. This is a pretty hard rod. It does drive the oil pump. But I know I can't pound on it too much because I could fracture it. I know it could shatter if you hit it real hard. So this is going to be a slow process. I've got it started where it fits the groove. I'm trying to adjust my lighting in here. so it's a little bit better but you get the idea your bottom only hole the bottom of your hole is going to be tapered it's going to be tapered like a drill bit this is one of those self starting bits so I'm trying to match the drill bit you get the idea so on to getting this in there will be the next step. Okay, here's the finished product. This was an ink pen. I ground the clip off, the pocket clip, took all the guts out, used some electrical tape down inside of here to make it bigger. It's really crammed in. It took me a lot to cram this on here because this is two pieces where the pen pulled apart. It didn't screw together, it just snapped together. And there's some electrical tape in there, and I really jammed it together. This was white. It had a logo on it from a radio, local radio station, but it was so scrunchy that I sanded it down and put some Sharpie marker on it. I figured that would work better than paint, because it acts like a dye. It'll soak into the plastic. But there's the finished little miniature ball peen hammer. I can do small things that the big one can't do. Do smaller items, and it'll leave a nicer look. Well, it's whatever look you like, but to me, it'll be a nicer look on the copper. This is all scrunchy yet. I just heated it up. Just to make it softer. Some of this stuff will come off as you're hammering it. The more you pound, it isn't really that hard to clean. I'll clean the side that's going to the inside, like when I made my bigger bowl. I cleaned the side first, that would be the inside, a lot better. The outside, I didn't care what it looked like. But, there's the finished little mini ball peen hammer. have an odd thing for a handle. I believe this is some kind of chrome molly steel. It's this shiny. It's never rusted laying around. I'm sure if I went and asked somebody that was more into metal they'd be able to tell me just by showing it to them. I never polished this. This just cut off. That's how shiny it is when you chop it off with a cutter blade. Same as this oil pump rod out of a Ford engine. It runs from the distributor to the oil pump. I know this is probably some chrome molly type steel. It's hard, but I know it will fracture. If I bent it, it would fracture. It would not just bend, it would crack. I have seen one of these twisted up like a Twizzler out of an old motor once where it actually twisted it. So it did twist it before it snapped. 
There it is. The finished ball peen hammer. And thank you for watching.